it's day 80 in Cleveland, Ohio. My day started off pretty freaking lazy, I'm not going to lie to you. I tried to sleep a lot, considering I went to bed late, but that didn't really work. If anybody's got like a tried and true method to fall asleep and stay asleep, just let me know. Please. Please let me know. I spent the majority of my day at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame slash museum. Or Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and museum? Or Rock and Roll Hall of Fame museum. Anyways, I remember coming to Cleveland, I think in high school, for the Rock and Roll Museum. And I remember the shape of the building, but I don't quite remember what we saw. So, a uh, visit today was in order. And, my golly, I think I spent five hours there today. And I didn't even see everything. Goodness. My favorite part about the museum were the um, outfits, the stage outfits that they had donated. So some of my favorites were the David Bowie outfit and the, um, ooh, the Supremes, I believe, are the dress with the fluffy feathers at the bottom. It was pretty awesome. Uh, and then the <laughs> George Clinton dog shoes were just insane. Insane. There are a lot of permanent exhibits in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The history of rock and roll is just so comprehensive and it's without a doubt you would be spending hours in there just alone if you tried to read everything. I skimmed a lot of it. Um, but I did see there's so much memorabilia to look at, so much memorabilia to look at. So I thought that was pretty cool. They had a really fun exhibit about, uh, it's called Video Killed the Radio Star, and it was, as you would imagine, music videos and, uh, sort of their, uh, the genesis of music videos, really. It was awesome. They played some really great music over it, too. Really great music. I guess I can take my hand off my neck. Um, it's not holding it up there, and I do not have a flesh wound, zombie or otherwise, so don't worry. Anyways, back to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, I walked around the Hall of Fame part, which was really cool. So what the best part of that exhibit is about is they have a short video for each year of inductees. So... All together, I think I was sitting there for an hour and I missed, I believe, the first four or five years. Anyways, it was really cool, just a short snippet of, of each year and it was, oh my goodness, amazing. They didn't have 2014's inductees in the video yet, but they did have memorabilia from the 2014 inductees in the hall nearby. So you still got to look at some stuff, so that was great. And then afterwards, I headed up to a special exhibit about music festivals. The music festival exhibit had memorabilia from Glastonbury and Woodstock and uh, Bonnaroo. Just all sorts of outdoor festivals is really what it was about. And then when you even go up one more level, they just have video of live festivals. Not live at the moment, but Whatever, you get it. Videos of live performances of festivals past. And so they had, it was great. It was just so much fun. I could probably talk a little bit longer about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but I probably won't. I walked around a little bit, the sort of lakefront area, for just a little bit longer before heading back to the hotel, which is where I am right now. Here's a picture of Cleveland, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. And... I'm going to grab some dinner, and I will talk to you tomorrow, day 81. Bye! I was holding up the computer straight the whole time.